right? Hello. <laughs> I don't know about you, I loved that first act. That was awesome. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is um, the poem that I wrote called Magic Dream, and um, I've read it to different friends and different audiences, and based on how well it was received, I figured I'll share it with you guys. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> um, but before I start, just curious, has anyone seen a movie by Adam Sandler called Click? Yes. Yes. Wow, a lot of people. Well, whether you have or have not, it's okay, because it's just the inspiration for this poem was from the movie. So don't take all the credit. <laughs> <clears throat> a little girl played with her doll, and then she heard her mama call. Young lady, go clean your room and sweep the floor with a little broom. She didn't want to do all that, and magic wand she wished she had. Oh, magic fairy, come my way, and let me skip my chores today. Please make it time for me to play and make my chores all go away. And then, surprise, her fairy came and gave her a toy that wasn't a game. It looked like a remote control and it could forward chores and all and things she didn't want to do. Girl was so happy, said, thank you. Now, magic power our girl had to skip teeth brushing, bath and bed. Her life was fun. Then school began. She liked it till about 10. And then she wished she could grow up. No studying, homework, school would stop. She pushed the button on remote and turned adult, could even vote. She yelled then, no, I want to play. My years shouldn't go away. All nights and parties with my friends. I didn't know my childhood ends. Looked for a button called reverse, but didn't find it there, of course. Stopped crying, got a decent job. Lived well, or so one would hope. She met a guy, and they got wed. Two children in four years they had. Her job kept being all the same, and the promotion never came. Her boss did promise very soon, but he as well could promise Moon. She pushed the button, tired to wait, to skip to the promotion straight. It happened, but the price to pay. She skipped three years, day to day. Her kids were older, starting school, she felt so stupid, like a fool. I skipped them playing, giving hugs. Time with my husband, skipping sucks. She hid remote far away, until misfortune came one day. She was so sick and taking drugs, and doctors cautious made remarks. And chemotherapy was hell. She didn't know if she'd be well. And when she felt quite sick again, she figured how to skip her pain. And what appeared, her kids were grown, her husband lived now on his own. She didn't know they fell apart. She skipped through their discussions part. And she kept forwarding again things that were dreadful, sad, or pain. And then one day when she was old, she cried and found remote to hold. She asked her fairy to come back, to give her all her years back. She felt she didn't really live, and even bad things she'd relive. For every day brings something good, she only now understood. And magic fairy came to her and took remote away from her. She was so happy and woke up when mom brought her milk in a cup. She said, my sweetie, did you sweep? Came to your room, you were asleep. Don't worry, mommy, I will do. And then I'll go and play with you.
Thank you.